I joined Founders in the year 2000. I was unemployed and my girlfriend, now my wife, told me to, why don't you get off your butt and go down to Founders? You like making beer, they make beer. I said, but I don't like Founders. I, you know, I didn't know it at the time because I had no experience in a brewery. I was just happy to be there, but you know, as I started to find out the state of affairs and, and this, financially speaking in particular, we were in some bad shape. <laughs> I think when Nate and Jer came on board and we adopted the Brew For Us mentality, it was really exciting because quite honestly, a lot of the beers that we'd been producing before were, were good, but kind of boring. When I started, it was the basic beers that they told Mike and Dave to make, to, to open a microbrewery in the mid-90s. We had a wheat beer, an amber ale, a lager, pale ale. Occasionally there would be IPA. Real quickly, we decided let's throw away the rule book and let's do it our way. So that's when we started experimenting with chocolates and coffees and barrel aging. You know, we get to do things our own way and we don't have to apologize for it. You know, our friends down at Kalamazoo at Bells were, were making great beers that were inspiration to us. And of course, Sierra Nevada and a lot of the West Coast breweries. Wasn't really a whole lot going on locally here, so there was a there was a big opportunity to really um, step in with some some new newer style beers and get people's attention. Somehow, some way, our team, all of us together, have always managed to be ahead of the curve. Yeah, I think that's what's made you know our founders so unique and different that we were always ahead of those trends and we were never chasing them. For for as much. Um, financial uh, uh, trouble that we were in. I, I was never ever told, you know, to, um, hey, watch what you spend on your ingredients, or can you buy the, the, something cheaper here? You know, it was never even, uh, never even came up. It was always, you know, get what you gotta get to make the best possible beer you can. Buy the best ingredients, do whatever it takes. <laughs> 20 years later, we are still brewing you know, some of the same recipes, yeah. I'd say at least 18 years. And yeah, that's a testament to the beers that those guys brewed back then and what we created. They're still solid beers and they're well liked by fans and you know, it's stood the test of time.